Eden, a name given to the luscious gardens found within the pages of the Bible, the home of stories millennia old. Yet this tropical paradise exists in reality too, not as a god-created utopia, but as a sprawling rainforest trapped inside a bubble made by man. Nestled in an old china clay pit in the middle of the Cornish countryside lies the Eden Project, home to the largest indoor rainforest in the world. The bubbled biome has over 1,000 species of tropical plants and is built from hexagonal plastic inflated cells, supported by steel, which, alongside other mechanical features, help to keep the temperature and humidity levels inside the biome constant. Reaching 55 metres in height and 200 metres in length, the human-built rainforest at Eden is large enough to feel almost real. Though the bubble dome may appear to encompass one large rainforest, it actually contains four, all threading together into a combination of plants which would be unnatural in the natural world. Plants from the tropical islands weave into those from Southeast Asia, which reach tendrils out to those from West Africa, and share soil with tropical South America. Though each set of plants remains roughly in their own areas, the rainforest at Eden is its own ecosystem, and the creatures it holds are not restricted by the rough continental boundaries their compatriots are planted in. The rainforest at Eden is home to a number of invertebrates, including springtails, aphids and ladybirds. There are also two species of ant inside the bio, the trapjaw ant and the white-footed ant. Trapjaw ants are found in tropical areas across the globe, whilst the white-footed ant is native to Indonesia and the rest of the Indo-Pacific. Like in the real world, the white-footed ant in Eden has spread and become a pest in the other continental areas of the rainforest. The ants scavenge for sweet foods such as plant nectars, or high-protein sources such as other dead invertebrates. One of their main food sources is honeydew, which they farm from secreting aphids and scale insects. Following them close behind are two species of tropical bird, though occasionally a lost British bird, such as this juvenile blackbird, makes its way into the biome and decides to stick around for the easy ant food sources and balmy temperatures. The Sulawesi white eye is native to the island of Sulawesi, whilst Eden's other iconic bird, the Rao Rao, is native to Malaysia. Rao Rao scratch at dirt with their feet to try to find seeds and invertebrates in the soil to eat. These ground-dwelling birds, once paired, will often stay close to their partner or family group, looking for food and wandering the rainforest floor together. The males have a showy red crest on their heads, whilst the females, as in most birds, are plainer. Altogether, Eden is impressive, a feat of man's engineering capabilities. We have tamed the rainforests of four different areas across the globe, melded them together and kept them thriving inside a balanced ecosystem. If we can create our own rainforest, and what is stopping us from protecting those that are already naturally established throughout the world?